Hey friends, I'm in the studio and I just got a package from Jet Pens and I'm really excited to go through the order with you. There are two traveler's notebooks and we'll be decorating one of them together. All right, let's just dig right in. These are the two traveler's notebook inserts that I got, the 12 and the 13, as well as this Kuretake watercolor set, which I'm really excited about because it's a professional set, which I don't yet have. I prefer the inexpensive ones, such as the Michaels Artist Loft ones, and then I just get the cheapy palettes, but this one is, I think, a higher grade and I'm sure it's better quality so I don't know how I'm gonna do with it but we will find out I also got these pens these are by pilot and they're called the juice pens this is orange and this is green I guess it's a lime green and they click so this is actually one of my favorite pens ever this is an envelope pen and I got it years ago from jet pens and I used the heck out of it and actually finished a pen, which I don't think I've ever done, or I probably haven't done very many times in my life because I tend to hold on to a lot of pens and I crush on them. Uh, this one is 48 pages, and this is the one that I'm going to use as opposed to the one with the 128 pages. So I'm using the 12 uh, Traveler's Notebook, and I want to do the cover, but I'm kind of intimidated to start there. So I'll show you how this envelope pen works. This writes like butter. I mean, it looks so good and it's so smooth. I really just love the way this turns out and the way it writes. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and write a little introduction in this box here. And I usually don't really know what to do with this page in particular. So I sometimes put a sticker on it. I sometimes stamp. But here I just thought it'd be fun to write kind of the idea of this book and put it down and then I want to test out this orange pen too. It's got a very fine tip so I'm going to draw this little tangerine but it turns out you have to draw a lot of lines and color it in and then I'm going to use this green as the stem of the tangerine and then maybe draw a couple leaves. Cute! Now I'm going to grab the orange one again and draw another little slice right here in that little space. And I really like the way these write too. I think they're just kind of fun novelty. So it says, hello there, this book is for whatever creative endeavors I choose to put in it. This is also one big permission slip to allow for maximum creativity and freedom to express. Just make it happen. All right, that's what we're gonna do here with these watercolors. So I'm trying to slide this box out of this little wrapper, which I don't know why I'm doing that. I could just tear it in the back here, which is what I finally decided to do. And then I looked at the directions and I only saw apply water brush with color to activate it. Okay, so let's open these up and see what we got. There is a plastic covering over it. And I think that it may be a palette. I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess it's a protective kind of covering and then you could also use it as a palette, I'm guessing. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna grab my favorite brush, this round number two Princeton Select brush, and dip it in some water and test these babies out. They look so clean, I almost don't wanna use them, but I have to try them. So let's try the whole palette idea. Now, it turns out after I tried these out, I realized that because they're such great quality, they actually don't need very much water. So I had plenty of paint on here that I could have just started right away, but instead I was very used to just trying the old way of, you know, using the watercolors and I didn't realize that I had plenty of water already. So I think I've stalled enough and I need to just get the paint down on the paper. It feels quite nice to put this paint down and I'm just going to make I guess this little patchwork and test out all the colors and maybe even do some different techniques so I'm not going to put this one onto the palette I'm going to do it directly from the uh, I'm not even sure what to call it the paint itself and it looks richer definitely because I haven't added as much water to it and I really like this hot pink fuchsia color that's going on right here. 
Okay, so I think that these watercolors are already way nicer than the ones I'm typically used to. I can tell by the way it feels. So with this one, I'm actually, I changed my mind and I want to do this wet technique where I wet the paper first. Obviously, I didn't get enough paint off of that. And then add the paint directly to it and see what happens. Ooh, that's kind of fun. The water is kind of soaking in the paint since I already got the paper wet first. It's one of those things where I don't really know what I'm doing with watercolors. All I know is that I enjoy using them and I enjoy trying different techniques and seeing how it looks. I'm just going to make this rectangle a little bit bigger. And I haven't taken any cl any classes or anything like that. I just wanted to experiment and see. And this one I'm going to try to write a word with this orangey color here. And as you know, I love to use this brush scripting with the watercolors. Oh my goodness, this feels so good. It's so different. I wish I could kind of explain how different it feels as opposed to the inexpensive set. And I know that some of you guys are probably laughing and rolling your eyes because, duh, Amy, of course this feels better. This is a professional set. This is completely different than the cheapo sets that I've been used to. So of course it's going to feel different. Uh, but yeah, just the detailing and the way it feels on the brush and when it hits the paper. And I feel like the saturation is different and the amount of pigment or color that's being put onto the paper is wow it's just so different and it feels really good so yeah I, I like it already I'm really kind of inspired by it and I just want to do some different shapes and really play around with the brush a little bit I think that I am really going to enjoy whoops using this set already so I'm going to draw some clouds over here and fill them in. It's fun to doodle with a brush. I haven't done it very much, but uh, it's actually quite a therapeutic process and it's enjoyable. This is kind of a funny periwinkle color. And then this looks like it's kind of a navy. So yeah, just, I, I'm in love. It's so crazy. I'm in love with another watercolor set. Oops. It's like little earthquakes in here. Sorry, the camera, the tripod shook, so the camera shook, and that's what made the whole screen shake. I apologize for that. All right, so this is just black. I decided to skip over the white because the paper is very white. So I might try the white out on a different colored paper and see how that looks grabbing the pen to write down the types of watercolors this is and then I'm I cut out the little packaging and I'm using the sticky thumb adhesive from American Crafts it's brand new it's my first time using it obviously I can't get the cap off and it just flew across the room <laughs> which is okay because I usually leave them off anyway so I am going to put this down and like I said this is just one of those pages for fun I kind of wanted to make a little reference sheet for these watercolors and just document the fact that I am testing them out and I love them. I absolutely, absolutely love them. I can't even express it enough. It's so funny that supplies just make me so happy and these in particular are just amazing. So yeah, it looks really good and I still am too intimidated to do the cover, but I think I will do the cover on camera in another video, uh, just not this one because I don't feel completely confident enough. So I was going to put this away and then I realized that they have this nice little grid on the cover. I am such a dummy. Of course, I can just fill it in here so that I can see the samples when I'm about to go paint. It just makes sense. I mean... I don't know why I didn't see that before, but I just got excited and now I can fill it in. So these colors, I just did a purple heart for some reason. Uh, these colors make me really happy and I am so excited. I give this whole grouping a thumbs up, two thumbs up. And this little piece I just didn't want to throw away because for some reason I can't part with packaging. And I thought it was a good color chart to also include besides that writing underneath. I can't read it anyway or understand it.
although it'd be fun to be able to read Japanese, I just can't do it. It, it could be Chinese too. I don't even know. It kind of looks very Chinese. I should ask my mom. Anyway, I thought it would be fun for you to see the process of making the title card for this video. So this is just a different brush. This is actually from my Australia watercolor set that I got at Spotlight. And I am liking the way this feels with this brush too. These paints are just so, I, I wanna say delicious. They just feel so good when you're writing with them. So I'm really excited to be using these as part of my new arsenal of supplies. All right, drawing a couple hearts here. And uh, of course, I just don't want this video to end. So I decided to peel off the sticker in case I really wanted to reference which Traveler's Notebook this was. And I'm going to stick it right here. Another thing I remembered is that people always are concerned with bleed through. And here is what it looks like. You can barely even see any evidence of paint or writing on the other side. I am so impressed with this notebook in particular and how thick the pages are. I love it. Love it all. I hope you enjoyed playing with those Jet Pens products with me and if you have any questions or comments about any of the products that I've reviewed, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We are creating fun stuff all the time and I would love for you to be a part of it. So thanks for watching. Keep on creating. Hmm, how's my lipstick? <laughs> I love this necklace. Can you see it in the video? Oh good, I think you can.